Well, it's very unique on a Tuesday not to be planning for a game. It's been a been a long time, but uh, just reflecting the last couple of days on our season, couldn't be more proud of our guys for their resiliency, their commitment to one another, and finding a way in, in so many ball games through a lot of different adversity. And you know, just going back through this weekend from the last time uh, we all spoke, just uh, you know, from the Western Kentucky win to then advancing to the semifinals, uh, Mississippi State played extremely well. We played just okay, and that wasn't enough. And then being able to turn it around quickly and and really, you know, like I told the team, it's going to be all guts now for this Sunday game. And didn't start off great, but just you know, battled from behind and and found a way to come away with a a great win uh, to finish out the season. I. I Coach Holt sent me a nice congratulatory message, and I said, so this is what a bowl win feels like. It feels pretty good. Um, but couldn't be proud of our guys uh, on an outstanding year on so many different levels through everything that this pandemic uh, threw at us. But you know, just really blessed and felt so, so honored to coach this group. Ben? Feel free to go ahead. Coach, coach so you, you look back at this season, and obviously, you know, now that it is the off season, you'll get a time to reflect a little bit uh, on what this season was. But what, you know, from where you were back in September, October, leading up to the season in November to where you are now, what surprised you the most about this team? Well, the first thing, I'm, I'm shocked uh, that we played 32 games. Back in September, we're going on the third version of a non-conference schedule. Well, it was decided that we'd play back-to-back -back nights in Conference USA. There were so many things just happening on the fly that we were just trying to adjust to. And then not having a scrimmage or an exhibition game and playing our first game of the year with not a lot of information after losing four seniors. So when I look at just the evolution of our guys through several different starting lineups, different uh, rotations, uh, injuries and just different things where guys were out. Um, just proud of our group for their resolve because they were very flexible this year. The things that we asked them to do from the way we traveled to the way we prepared each day, it was so different. So even though we had a lot of upperclassmen, we had a lot of experience back, the environment this year was unlike any other. And their flexibility, their commitment, and just their opportunity, that their, their interest in finding a way was really remarkable. Corey? And Eric, to, to that end that you just made there, uh, you know, when you, when you factor in, you know, all the, all the circumstances, whether they're internal or external, um, when you put it all together and, and, you know, you come out on the end of this third place in the NIT, um, do you feel like this is the, the, the best coaching job that yourself and your staff has done with a, with a Louisiana Tech basketball team since, since you started? You know, that's, that's really hard to say. That's, that's for you guys to decide. Um, we, we just evaluate each, each and every day of how we can get better. And I thought this group got better each and every day. Um, we took big, big strides from November into March. You know, when Kobe Williams went down with the injury and then his resolve to try to find a way to help the team and going eight of 14 in the NIT when he, from three. Uh, you can go down the list on so many contributions, but you know, I, I know this. I, I've got an excellent coaching staff. I, I would, I'd put them up against anybody. Um, and then our players, their ability to be disciplined through this pandemic, to uh, be focused on trying to get better each day, to try to do whatever we can to play games and compete, I thought was remarkable. So hopefully we never have to go through something like this again exactly. But I, like I told them, I said, this group of guys, um, through any type of adversity, I'd, I'd roll with any time. Ben? Coach, you go back to, you know, like I said, back to the beginning of the season. We've seen it really, you know, throughout your first five years as the head coach, kind of been more of a perimeter-oriented team. Um, did it surprise you all that much that you guys ended up playing through the post as much as you did uh, in the latter stages of the year? You know, I thought when, when the three-point line pushed back 
it, it gave an opportunity to really bring post play back, just with the spacing of the floor. And then, of course, with Andrew Gordon on our team, um, uh, Junior Lofton coming in as a freshman, even Isaiah Crawford and Jacoby Pemberton, th those are guys that, and Stacey Thomas, those are guys that we, we felt like we could throw it into and try to get to the paint. Each year we try to find ways to help this team or help the team be successful. Uh, we made some adjustments defensively, made some adjustments offensively, and one of the things that I, I thought made this team successful was there's, depending on the game, depending on the way the other team defended, we had different options where a different guy could have a big night. With having six guys averaging more than eight points per game and a number of guys scoring over 15 in any particular game, there's different opportunities to either throw it inside, play on the perimeter, um, get in transition. Uh, we don't shoot a ton of mid-range shots, but there's some guys that are good at it. So we just tried to find ways to help each guy be at their best and keep mixing and matching to put units out there on the floor that could be very efficient. Corey? Eric, looking ahead, um, you know, what do you anticipate being the biggest need for you guys um, as you get ready to head to the off season here and start to, you know, kind of start the beginning stages of putting the game plan together for, for next season? Well, that process is ongoing. I mean, we talk about the future all the time. You have to in recruiting. We signed three good high school players that we're excited about back in November. They all had tremendous senior years and Caleb Stewart and Will Allen and Taren, Taren Williams. Uh, so we're excited about them. And then we're just kind of ex assessing our roster right now, starting with our seniors and just trying to get on, on the same page with their goals and aspirations. There's a lot of different options out there. And, and our take always has been to work with our players as to what's best for them, their families, uh, in opportunities, here, professionally, elsewhere, whatever that might be, and just have some conversations uh, coming up in the next week. But, you know, this is a time to really celebrate what these guys did for these few days. I know at the baseball game on Thursday, we're going to honor our team in front of our fans. Looking forward to that. And, and just really celebrating what these guys accomplished. Ben? And coach, kind of to follow up on that, um, with some of these seniors obviously having the option to come back um, and, you know, obviously that goes into assessing your roster for next year. But speaking particularly to Junior and some of the things that he brings to you, especially in the offensive end of the floor, uh, with so many opponents having to double team him, does that kind of make you look at some perimeter guys and look to get some, you know, I, I say sharp shooters, but some guys around the perimeter that can really knock some shots down, knowing that he's just going to continue to get better and better in terms of passing the basketball? Absolutely. You've got to have shooting, and I, I think that's you know, the three-point shooting is is always important, and especially if you've got a guy that commands a double team or people digging the post and putting a lot of attention down there, need to have shooting. And, and we've always liked to have shooting one through four if possible, and you know, we've had that. So we're, we're looking. Um, this is going to be a big offseason of development. I'm excited about that. We didn't get that last year in the weight room, number one, and then in the skill development. Uh, into this spring and then into the summer. Just got to keep pushing forward and, and helping guys improve. But shooting the basketball is vitally important always, but it's something that we're certainly looking to address this spring. Corey? Uh, Eric, uh, I think we've, you know, over the course of, um, I guess, probably maybe since, the, since you guys learned that you we're going to get invited to the NIT. I think we maybe talked a little bit about this already, but um, just just this team being able to put it together at the right time uh, and make that deep postseason run, um, you know, that's something that's that's kind of evaded you guys for the last few years. Uh, you know, maybe win a game, you know, in the conference tournament, and unfortunately couldn't get beyond that. Just how, how satisfactory it was uh, for this group to, to put it together at the right time. Well, postseason play is a real honor, and it's become tougher and tougher to attain for basketball teams. Um, and to be selected as one of 16 this year is a, is a high honor in itself. To get to the play Saturday and Sunday 
is tremendous. And then, of course, to, to win your last game feels really good. Um, you know, I look at this team and what they did from the injuries that we incurred uh, leading into the conference tournament, getting selected in the NIT, and then playing four top 100 teams in the NIT and winning three of them is a, is a really good thing and something that we can use in recruiting, but also as a springboard into next year. Um, you know, of course, last year we felt really good about our postseason chances with those seniors that we had and the upperclassmen uh, from last year's team, and, and we didn't have that opportunity. But it puts a lot of things in perspective for, for all of us to take advantage of every day and playing and competing and just trying to have the best day we can. Any more questions, guys? Jeff, Corey? All right, thanks, Coach. We appreciate it. Appreciate you guys all season long. Thank you.